Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 6.0 video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn that how we can generate the login registration, uh, complete sign up and login functionality uh, with the Laravel Oath. And in the Laravel 6, we will see that there is some new things and the way of generating the Oath is a little bit changed from the Laravel 5 also. Alright, so now let's see that uh, what we have to do for all this process. So first of all, we will we need to install a UI package, which is the Laravel UI. After that, we have to use uh, the auth command. We have to install the npm package. We have to add some database configuration to interact with the database. We will migrate some default data and test the login and registration functionality. Alright, so now let's start don't worry about if you are uh, very familiar or a very basic knowledge uh, of the laravel i will completely uh, tell you from the very scratch and you will feel very confident at the last of this video after the registration and the auth and login everything all right so now let's start with the command line and first of all i'm just going to install a ui package so just come to the uh, command line and just write here composer required laravel underscore ui and just hit the enter and now uh, we will see that after uh, just some moments a laravel ui will be installed and after that we will uh, proceed the further steps so it will maybe take some three or four minutes so i'm just going to pause this video so that we can save the video length and save the time now we can see that uh, laravel ui package installed now we have to run a command which is the php artisan ui view minus minus auth so this command is uh, actually responsible for the auth and uh, it will make some uh, pages which required inside the laravel and all right so this is also done now let's check what actually changed how now you can see that around 70 files are generated like the app.php reset email confirm verify registration login all pages are are here done and uh, uh, inside the which is the web.php now you can see that a new route is also created all right so everything is ready here so now, uh, now let's uh, move on the next step. So now actually we have to install the npm and uh, run uh, as an dev. Dev. So just write here npm install and and npm. So that means we I am just running the two command after the npm install. I will install the npm uh, run dev and just hit the enter. And uh, it will installing the package and it will take maybe little bit uh, time but uh, I'm just going to uh, not stop in this video because it will not going to take a uh, time more than a uh, one or two minutes so in this while we will check all the packages so first of all we can uh, check the reset package and all here you will see some uh, when we just uh, uh, everything is uh, told by uh, or uh, generated by the just auth command with a single command all right so now you can see that Laravel build is also done here you can see that okay so now uh, let's uh, move on the database and uh, we just have to configure the database holes also here okay so I'm just going to open the dot env file and in the dot env file I'm just going to put here my database name I will put my database name as in YouTube username is root and in my password which is the red hat at the rate one two three in your case it can be blank also all right and if you are just hosting from the any server then you must have to change the db host name and uh, db port but if you are on the local host that's fine so this is also done now let's open the <coughs> php my admin here so whenever i'm just opening it you will see that there is a no database with the name of uh, youtube so i'm just going to create it and let's create it but this is database is black now so I am just going to use one more command which is the uh, php artisan migrate and just hit it ok so mm, 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 let me check what's the problem here yeah uh, maybe there is an access denied so I think uh, 
let me check the yep I did not save this file actually so I just saved it and run this command again now you can see that uh, the file are migrating and let's refresh this database now you can see that we are getting more and more file so there is a nine file for whole database and these files are related to the username some sample password auth and migration and all all right so we are not going to talk about this file also because uh, we have to just complete this video as soon as possible uh, everything is fine here I, uh, all steps are uh, done except the last which we have to test and register so now uh, this is time to test here so let's uh, refresh it and just move on the home page whenever I'm just going to home now you can see that we are able to see this uh, uh, login registration page very nicely but uh, whenever I'm just going on to the users you will see that there is uh, no data here so how we can log in so first of all I'm just going to register myself which is anil email address is anil at the rate test.com password 9876534321 whatever you want to put okay and I'm just going to repeat my password and let's register it now you can see that you are registered here and whenever I'm just going to see it now you can see that we got an entry here also so can we log it out yes we can log it out also so if you just want to log in then uh, just come back here and just go to the home and uh, put the password which is my password my email ID is anil at the rate test and my password is 9876454 I don't know ah it's done okay so now you can see that this is uh, logged in now so this is all about that how you can generate the auth and uh, how you can uh, make the default login and registration all right so if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel bye bye and uh, uh, if you have any kind of opinion, suggested video that you want on the Laravel, React, Angular or anything then you can comment me also and your suggestion and opinion are very precious for me. Thanks for your uh, very very precious time.